Hi, and bonjour. My name is Christian Schneering, reporting from the headquarters at CPAC in Ottawa, Canada. On today's headline, we're talking about the 2110 workflow transition here at the facilities. Stay tuned. CPAC exists as a public service to help bring democracy and the events that are happening on Parliament Hill to Canadians. We distribute in three languages, English, French, and Floor, which is the original language without any interpretation. Most of our footage originates from the House of Commons broadcasting. We transfer it back to our facilities via dark fiber. We do our own ENG news gathering when politicians are scrumming in different locations in Ottawa. We can be anywhere in the precinct and move content back through our own fiber. The team here at CPAC is driven by innovation, is driven by the excitement about new technologies. We were looking at uh, upgrading our baseband SDI infrastructure. It was about 10 years old, aging and, and starting to fail. So we were due for a complete facility overhaul. So it just made sense to make that transition to IP now to create a more flexible, agile backbone for our workflows. Over the next few years, we see the broadcast industry evolving to continue the transition towards IP and cloud-based infrastructure, increased use of AI and automation, and uh, supporting workflows that are software-defined, such as the use of the dynamic media facility and MXL, and the ability to move towards that software-defined infrastructure that Lavo's already been building on. CPAC has one principal control room and we have one studio and we also have two audio control rooms that we can press into service for larger events. We also have master control. A couple of years ago, we started exploring options to replace our contribution feeds, our multi-viewers, and really a solution that would help us define and replace the core infrastructure of our broadcast facility. And we investigated a number of solutions, and Lava was one of the very few options that we found that offered software-defined infrastructure. It's an audio company at its core as a foundation, but it's evolved into so much more, and we've been thrilled to take part in that. I think the main reason for home apps was the, um, the ability to use software-based applications on COT server. What's special about home apps and Lavo credits is, first of all, it is software. Software is more dynamic, more agile, more flexible. Credits can be used to be anything within the facility at any given point when it's needed, where it's needed. Today I need a multi-viewer running, uh, tomorrow I don't. Uh, if I had um, a bespoke piece of hardware for a multi-viewer, I can't use it for anything else. However, with this server, I can now spin up color correctors, delay apps, and all sorts of different applications that I need. We are keen on leveraging the subscription-based service in addition to the perpetual-based service based on the application. So we see the need for a mix of both. The multi-viewers are the real seller. The flexibility to spin up a new monitor, to change a monitor, to save an old configuration, park that for a few months, bring that back, has been really nice. The wall app is used to configure the multi-viewer layouts. Tally, UMD, clocks, closed captioning, it's all there. Currently, there is a plan to provide an SRT feed of the multi-viewer, so folks can reach that from home or from their desks. We have an audio mixing console, power cores, dot edge frames, BSM, home, home apps, LavoFlex. There are plans to expand to the MC squared home apps as well as uh, we look to upgrade the uh, audio infrastructure. You would spin an app down simply because you, at that point, don't need it. But you would need something different, more DSP within your audio mixing console. And once that event is done too, you spin down the extra DSP on your audio mixing console and you have those credits available to you again for maybe even something different. If a credit on the East Coast here is not used anymore because it's the end of the day, we can shift those credits to the West Coast for the entire term that you bought those credits for. The VSM programming was a collaborative effort between myself uh, and the professional services team at Lavo. It was very much a joint effort. It is the nerve center of the facility. The interaction that we've had with Lowell spinning up this new system has been fantastic. CPEC is leading the way in many ways. It's a new way of how to think, how broadcast is done. 
this has been a huge achievement for us. Given the small size of our operation, small size of our team, we're very happy with how things have gone. A software solution just lets us continue evolving the operations daily. I see much more software-based applications, uh, cloud-oriented workflows, and more people shifting from traditional baseband workflows to IP. I literally have it on all day, every day. I have to. Plus, I'm watching for quality control. 